Summer holidays are over and I am back in my GP surgery and the female body, particularly the uterus, is back freaking people out again, this time in the name of decidual casts. Let's get into the mystery all around this. A decidual cast is when the lining of the uterus, the endometrium, sheds in one piece. Typically, this lining comes out of the vagina gradually during your menstrual period or it can come out suddenly. Now, once the tissue is outside your body, you may notice that it looks like the shape of your uterus, like this up here. The decidual cast can cause extreme pain, excessive vaginal bleeding and cramps before, or you might get spotting or vaginal spotting before, but then you get cramps afterwards as it leaves your body. And when the decidual cast is expelled, it might be pink or red or might look like this. It might be fleshy in somewhat triangular shape, close to the size of the uterus. Sometimes it can be like a ball. So women will say, look, it looks like the ball of my hand, etc. But thankfully, this is a rare occurrence. But if you do find this happening to you, it may have happened due to a multiple number of reasons. If this has happened to you for the first time, it would be worth doing a pregnancy test as it could sadly be a sign of miscarriage or an ectopic pregnancy. But if you're not pregnant and it happens repeatedly, it'll be worth chatting to the doctor or somebody like me who does women's health at the GP surgery because there are some hormonal contraceptives, especially those that are high in progesterone, which might increase the likelihood of having a decidual cast. Now on social media, there's a lot of worry about decidual cast because yet again, it's something that we have not been taught about or not telling women and girls about so they don't know and there's this sort of fear around it, but it's not linked to cancer or anything serious like that. It's just another freaky thing that our uteruses do that we definitely need to understand, make it understood better and get researched. 